Here about 90 minutes ago, the first alert started to go out on people's cell phones nationwide, alerting them to start getting towards sheltered areas, bomb shelters, not to congregate. And over the past 15 minutes, they have become much more frequent. Then we heard the announcement from the IDF that Iran's missile attack has begun. And a short time later, we got those messages on our phone, evacuate immediately, move as soon as you can to any kind of bomb shelter. Um, we heard the sirens a short time after that. I'll give you a sense of where we are. It's just a room in this hotel. You can see uh, it's got an air vent as well. We're perfectly safe where we are. We have uh, the rest of our team here on the other side. Um, but this is what most of Israel looks like right now. We don't know how many missiles we hear, 100. It could be more in the coming hours. That remains to be determined. Uh, just as we were running into the shelter, I saw some of those interceptors go up into the atmosphere to try to take out those missiles. It is possible that there have been hits, and the IDF has said all day that they're preparing for this and that the air defenses are solid. They worked in the past uh, in April, knocking out 99% of the missiles, drones, and cruise missiles fired from Iran. But the IDF saying it's not hermetic. Uh, we understand at this point that several major Israeli military bases in the Tel Aviv area and in, in the south were targeted. They were evacuated earlier today uh, in recent hours. It was known that that was likely what Iran is going to target. Um, unclear. The damage right now, we're inside, unable to get uh, bulletins, but Israel's obviously bracing for a very, very long night. And it happens, Kira, on the back of what appears to be a shooting attack just about a mile from where we are. Um, two armed men entering a train. We understand it was a terrorist attack, according to police, shooting a number of people. Several of them have been critically wounded. So a very jarring night for Israelis here after those successes in Lebanon over the past a couple of weeks. And the sirens still going on, Kira.